Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Open Potato. This is Hearts of Iron 4. We are playing, of course, as the United Kingdom with a goal to up the Empire. And you know what? I still, I still can't get over how unbelievably atrocious the size of the land that we now control. And it's only going to increase, right? That's important to note. It's only going to increase when we unpause this bad boy because... Yep, there we go. Boom. The European offense is still ongoing, supposedly. Um, I suppose this could be classified as Europe, but there we go. Uh, we are we are trundling along at a truly remarkable speed. We've got an absolutely massive army in here. I mean, so big that it's probably not even supported in most places. Quite honestly, that's completely understandable, but whatever. It doesn't really matter. Uh, yeah, we're going to do our absolute best to, uh, to, to capture this area from the Russian Federation. Uh, not the Russian Federation, the Russian Empire, and uh, and eliminate them from the game entirely. Meanwhile, in Asia, in India, things are also going rather swimmingly, and we are just waiting for our big, 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 big advanced landing craft uh, to make a massive attack onto mainland, mainland Japan, I suppose, or mainland China, mainland Japan. We haven't really decided where we're going to go yet, but, you know, the world's your oyster. When you're uh, when you're as 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 big as me, uh, now we are going to take another opportunity to drop another nuclear bomb on Tokyo. I mean, there seems to be no reason. Uh, there seems to be no reason why why we shouldn't, right? I mean, we might as well drop it on provinces that give us the most national, the most damage to their national unity. I mean, this only does 6% national unity, whereas if we do it on Tokyo, uh, once again, we can get 12%. So, I, I don't know why uh, it's not changing, it's not updating, but each and every time we do it, we can get 12%. So, we might as well take the opportunity to do that then. It's uh, it's quite right, I think, and the, the best strat uh, in, order to, uh, in order to win. But we're being successful. And that's the fourth or something nuclear bomb. They're down to 40% national unity. This is... This this is low. This is very, very, very low. And... that's That must be quite scary for them. That must be quite scary for them. Uh, growth of a political party. We're growing it a little bit. We're operating a coup. Uh, it's going to pop in Beijing. It's not going to be on mainland Tokyo, so... I guess that's okay. Uh, we've still got a little bit of resistance in some places. Now, we did try to fix this by having a couple of people come in. Uh, I think we can probably dedicate the Canadian branch. You know, as honorable as they have been, I think we're probably going to get them to garrison up uh, in the regions that have the... Uh, or have a large amount of instability. So, over here over there. Where else is there still resistance to occupation? Murmansk? I mean, I don't really care about Murmansk, to be honest. We could put some troops up there, though, if we wanted to. Uh, Tripoli, Ethiopia. Tripoli, Ethiopia. Yeah. Astrakhan. I, I presume that that's in Germany somewhere? I, I, I don't really know. Uh, can we get the states map? Astrakhan. Good question. I have no idea where that is, by the way. Astrakhan. There we go. Okay, it's not. It's in Yugoslavia, I guess. It's not not useful for us. Like, we don't give a shit about it. So, Astrakhan, we don't care about. That's fine. Ethiopia, uh, is there any factories there? Are there many factories? Not really. I'm just going to remove the buildings. Ugh, whatever. Can't cancel construction. Uh, can't cancel repairs or whatever. Um, yeah, that's another problem. I guess we've got all the places that we really care about. I mean, maybe in Tripoli, which would be over here. There's nothing. There's nothing there though. So, it's it's literally not worth us stationing troops there unless there is something of value, and. In the future, there may well be something of value in Tripoli, but right now, it's not going to happen. Uh, over here, we need something. 
And we've got the Canadian branch coming down over there. No rebellions or whatever over there. Yeah, so pretty much pretty much everywhere that we've got. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. Garrison Garrison here. Why is nobody garrisoning over here? They should be. Just go go down here, please. There we go. Alright, whatever. If I do it manually, then maybe they'll do it. Uh, but anyway, yeah, pretty much everywhere where we have got uh, some sort of a civilian infrastructure, then we will have some troops. Uh, have we set up the defense order in Leningrad as well? Don't think Leningrad counts. Yeah, we need to make sure that Leningrad counts. Good, 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 good. All right, this is this is positive. This is positive. What's going on in the Red Sea? There's a naval battle or something? Yeah, our, wow, Vichy France lives on. That's fucking unbelievable, even though they've been completely taken over. Maybe they're like one of these weird, um, like, weird, weird little, weird little countries that don't understand that the war has ended until, like, the war has already ended. I think that would be so cool if the game simulated that. That would be awesome. If it was like, oh, well, these are guys that were just not notified that the war was over, like, 30 years ago or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I think that would be pretty cool. I mean, personally, if uh, if that was a thing. Uh, Afghanistan, we are... Could guarantee independence of Afghanistan if we wanted to do so. Uh, I don't think anybody's going to attack, quite honestly, but... They might. Um, I'm, more, I'm more sort of concerned about China. Japan's not showing any signs of capitulation, I don't think, quite yet. Yeah. Yeah, nothing. Nothing. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. Japan is not showing any signs of uh, of giving up. So, we're going to continue to try and destroy their national unity in an effort to uh, to divide them. But quite honestly, their national unity is uh, is quite high. Venezuela has sent uh, has sent people to Japan. What a fucking jerkle. What a fucking jerkle. We can't send volunteer forces. That kind of sucks ass. Yeah, I mean I'm just I'm just sort of thinking like has Japan done anything? Can they do anything? I don't think they can do anything. I don't think they can do anything more that's really, like, super threatening to us. I'm gonna get rid of this res resistance to occupation thing, because, quite frankly, I don't give a shit about it. Netherlands are doing a fairly good job of taking taking some territory back. Uh, I guess it's now just a case of hunt around for victory points that we can go after in Japan, because we want them. Uh, it doesn't have to be Japan, it could be, could be in Siam as well. But I'm more thinking that Japan... Japan is the place to be. Why we fight? Why Why do you fight? I, I do not understand. I do not understand why you would fight. You're a puppet of Italy. Are you shitting me? How... Where the fuck does Italy live? Where is Italy? Am I going completely crazy? Did, like, the dictators slip away to Argentina or something? I, I don't know. I don't know how Italy lives on. It, does Italy live on through this puppet? Is that it? Is that is that how it lives on? I don't fucking know. But it's weird, whatever it is. It's fucking weird. Um, once again, no fucking idea how we managed to come under the control of Wang Zhu. Uh, it makes no sense to me. It makes no sense to me. But there you go. There you fucking go. Coastal Command, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, Destroyer Focus, Amphibious Warfare... 50% research bonus for transport models. Fuck. I would have loved that whilst uh, researching my fucking advanced landing craft bollocks. Well, maybe it'll apply retroactively, who knows. Uh, you are fascist. I mean, there's so many, like, Chinese factions that I'm, I'm having difficulty keeping track of them all, quite frankly. So, there's a lot of victory points up for grabs in 40 victory points. Hiroshima. Fuck me, there's a lot of victory points up for grabs in Japan. 
Nagasaki as well is worth 30? 50? Fucking hell, I guess I know where I'm navally invading. I, I think that's a no-brainer, to be honest. I really do, like, that is, that is fucking insane. Uh, are we still manufacturing lots of convoys? That's good. Stockpiling convoys? We've got loads. 1,069. Which is pretty good. Pretty happy with that. And, uh, fingers crossed we can continue stockpiling them. Fuck me, though, like... I cannot believe how many victory points that are up for grabs here. There must be... In, J in Japan. But, like, really? This seems a little bit unbalanced how there's so many victory points up for grabs. Look at even the fucking minor cities. Is this is this just because they're like the last major opponent that's actually worth anything in this war? Or is that just straight up normal? Because if that is straight up normal, that's fucking weird, man. That's fucking weird. Hmm. Oh well, good to know that the British Raj has, uh, has recovered. Hey, research finished. Fantastic. Should probably continue working on battleships. Let's get the Lion class, I suppose. Or maybe... Lion class? Vanguard class? 40 days, it's nothing. Let's get the Lion class. Yeah, pretty, pretty, pretty crazy, the things that are going on. Um, but good to know that India has completely come back under our control. Um, is there... Could request forces, that's kind of cool. Uh, boost party popularity, we can't boost anything apart from... Uh, democratic, so that's not something that we're really interested in. Uh, what I was interested in doing was something that is possible, right? We're not going to do it, obviously. Uh, but the uh, War with Japan, which we're already on, uh, Indian Independence, Indian National Army has been formed. I have no idea how that is actually um, how that is actually uh, gone about. I, I don't know how that's that's done. It might be later that that happens, or it might be earlier already uh but i i don't know or we might have missed the opportunity that's what i'm trying to say we might have missed the opportunity or the opportunity might still be to come i uh, I, I do not know um this is going to be this is going to be a tough area to take because we've got all up here i mean well not all up here but you know this area up here at war uh yugoslavia wants to give me 27 forces sure i'll take that uh i'll take that I'll take that. I will take you all. I will take you all. And I will garrison you. I will garrison you. Over here. So please go and do that. And that should, that should really fix us. Resistance wise. Pretty much fucking everywhere. Right? Pretty much. Pretty much. Is there anything that we can do to our government to change construction speed? That might be something that we can think about. Uh, service by requirement is something that we can do. Uh, volunteer. We, we can't even downgrade. That's, that's a little bit of an annoyance for us. We could go up if we wanted to. We could go up, but we don't have the... What's our, what's our current thing at the moment? Uh, da, 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 da. service by requirement. Okay, that's 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 okay. Disarmed nation, recruitable populace one percent, volunteer only one point five percent. Yeah, we can't go down. We we can only go up, which is a problem, but it's not terrible. Is there any way that we can get normal construction speed set up? Uh, civilian to military factory conversion cost. I don't really care about that anymore, to be honest. War industrialist, I guess that's the best. Silent workhorse is political power gain plus 15%. Uh, 18 divisions to help out. Yeah, sure, whatever, buddy. I mean, to be honest, Sweden has got all together too many, too many troops, quite frankly. So, just chill out. Got another nuclear bomb that we're going to drop right on Japan, as you probably guessed, because, well, why wouldn't we if we can get a 12%? If we can, you know, 12% mortal strike their national unity uh, with, with one action. We might as well. Um, seemingly, this war has halted. I don't know why it has. 
but we now completely surround the enemy. Is there any way to... Is there any way to garrison this area? Oh shit, we can totally just garrison this uh, entire region. And that should get us to attack, right? Right? Will that actually get anybody to attack? I think it should. Don't know if it'll actually work like that though. Or we need to, to draw an offensive line. And this may not be the most efficient way of doing it. But we're giving it a shot. Okay, well... There we go. We're pushing in. We're pushing in. And there we go. That's that's garrisoning it, I suppose. The United States have got territory over here. Fuck me. Wait, state owner? UK? No, that's definitely United States state. Showing up as us. I don't know. No, the province is owned by the United States. It says it's occupied by the United States. Strictly, probably untrue. Well, it is true now. But, hey-ho. Anyway. Absolutely smack-a-doodling the, the fuck out of those forces. As in, the enemy forces over there. Things are still going good over here. Last another four days. Lovely, lovely, lovely. This is, this is positive. This is much more positive than I expected. Uh, how are we doing over in this part of Germany? Is resistance being quelled yet? Not quite yet. We're working on it. We're bloody well working on it. Sooner that we have, sooner that we have no resistance, the better. I mean, we can actually look at the resistance map mode and have a wee look and see who hates us. I mean, there's resistance over here, but quite frankly, that's not my business. I don't give a damn. I don't give a damn about. This state over here. It's got one civilian factory in, I guess. Get rid of it. So that I don't have to worry about it. Uh, Murmansk. Nope, don't care. Over there, not my territory. Over here, not my territory. Over here, not my territory either. All of my territories are pretty under control. I mean, it is my territory, but there's nothing there. All of these areas, there's, you know, it's my territory, but there's nothing there. Over here, my territory, but there's nothing there. Over here, there is a nuclear reactor that is queued up for construction. Let's, uh, let's not do that, shall we? It's, uh, it's probably a little bit of a fatal mistake to construct a nuclear reactor where there is a large amount of volatility. And uh, local resistance. So let's just avoid that one altogether, and then we can, then we can be happy about it. Nothing there. Nothing there. There's nothing here. There's nothing. There's nothing here. It's yeah. I mean, there's a little bit over here. Stalingrad. I mean, two factories. Is it worth positioning troops there just because there's two factories there? I think not. Good job, army. You cleared up. You cleared up. You absolutely splodged them. You splodged the enemy. That's fantastic. British Raj, why would you do this, buddy? Who the fuck are you? You need to be replaced. You're fucking offering me up troops. Nah, this is... Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off, buddy. Fuck off. I don't... That's just not good enough. Look, you need to be... You need to have India's interests at heart. Alright. Well, there we go. That was promptly dealt with. I guess the garrison tool can be very, very effective when you don't want to draw the stupid fucking offensive lines all over the place. Kind of nice to know, actually. Kind of nice to know. But probably probably not great as it doesn't allow us to, you know, coordinate an attack that easily. Man, these these brown spotches look like look like they are the former Russian Empire, but they're not. They're just they're just, you know, patches of earth, I guess. There you go, that's exciting. Alright, you've finished garrisoning the area. I feel that you now need to garrison a new area. There we go. Garrison this area. And control that. And then everybody will be happy. How are we doing for supply? Supply, questionable. Questionably bad, considering... Uh, no longer are we just drawing arbitrary lines that go through states. We are completely inhabiting one specific state. 
which I must imagine is going to drive the military commanders of this world absolutely bonkers. But quite frankly, it's the easiest way to go about to go about doing things. I'm just going to click garrison this area here. Garrison that area. Forget about garrisoning this area. I mean, there's a little, a little splodge over here that we could probably go after. But I don't think that this is going to be much of a threat for us, so we'll uh, we'll invade there nice and easily. Uh, New Mongol Empire, we are at war with them, so we can actually just go straight through. Uh, does this count as one region? Yeah, that totally counts as one region. You know what that means? That means a garrison. Hey, a garrison order. Absolutely classic garrison order. Uh, 30 days until advanced landing craft. Very, very exciting. Probably about the same. Yeah, 19 days until our, our next nuke. Which is going to further destabilize Japan. I mean, once again, I would like to add that I think national unity is completely underplayed in this current version of the game. And I think it should actually do a damn sight more than it actually does. Uh, you know, even though their national unity is on 10%, nothing is... Uh, nothing is... Nothing is happening. You know, it's they're not falling apart as a country. Nothing. You know? Nothing at all. So, a little bit disappointing there. But hey-ho. Uh, have we garrisoned up? You're moving in here. How long is it going to be... Ta how long is it going to take you? Going to take you four fucking days? Really? God damn it. Yeah, I mean, I suppose it is a little bit... A little bit windy, a little bit weathery. Uh, I imagine, by the way, that since we captured Russia, we're going to be getting shit tons of shit tons of resources from everybody if we go to trade. We've got a surplus of pretty much everything. We shouldn't be importing rubber. We should not be importing aluminium. Get back a couple more factories while we're here. Steel, no. Tungsten, no. Oil. Yeah, we still need to import uh, a little bit of oil, but we can probably get away with importing a little bit less, if I'm not mistaken. There we go. Down to a surplus of three. Fantastic. So we're still running a surplus on absolutely everything, but uh, it's a little bit more under control, which is quite nice. You guys fucking arrived yet? Hey, there we go. Fantastic. Well, this is this is how this is how it's meant to be, I suppose. This is uh, an easier way of going about doing things. In fact, why don't we just why don't we just bypass this, right? Why don't we just say, hey, forget about you, forget about you. Let's just go straight into here. In fact, no, let's just do it all. Let's do it all. There we go. Perfect. Have you got a route? Yes, everybody's got a route. That's good. That's good to know. Everybody's got a route. We still got three hundred thousand manpower. 300,000. That's not very much to work with. That's uh, pretty kind of pretty close to the pretty close to the bone to be honest. Are you still attacking here? Fuck's your problem. Why are we not attacking over here? Well, that's why we're not attacking because we're going to lose. Makes me feel real bad. 10 fucking victory points. I can't believe how many Victory points are up for grabs in uh, in Japan. It must be because it's like the only remaining, the only remaining place. It can't be just like straight off the bat worth that many victory points. Uh, let's have a quick look at the da, 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 the factions map mode because why not? Uh, as you can see, the entire world, the entire world apart from South America, is 100% allies. It's gorgeous. It really is. It's it's fantastic. Uh, Bratislava. Why is that showing up as... Well, it's showing up as Netherlands' own. I suppose that's fine. I guess. Yeah, uh, yeah. Okay. I was just... No, I was just looking at the, the victory point things that we have. The big stars. Quite nice. Uh, yeah, no, sorry, I was I, I got distracted by the, the stars. I, th I think these are capital cities, but I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, they must be capital cities. Helsinki over there. Who knows? Yeah, who knows? I know. That's that's exactly what they are. It's taken me that long to, to work it out. I thought they were just, like, extra victory points, but they're, but they're not. They're not. 
they're not extra victory points. Uh, but yeah, no, Japan, super, super powerful. Naval Invasion Tech is coming along 20 days. Definitely in the next episode, we're going to be uh, we're gonna be getting around to doing some uh, awesome naval stuff. What surprised me, though, is that Japan is really not putting up a fight. Like, they've got literally nothing. Literally nothing. Literally nothing in their entire region. If they deployed probably one aircraft, then that would mean... I would not be able to nuke uh, to to nuke them. One aircraft, one fucking aircraft, and they they've got nothing. They've not even got any anti-air. Not even in Tokyo. I mean, nothing. They've got nothing. They've got actually nothing. We've completely cream crackered all of their bases now, so they've got they've not even got a bloody chance. They've not even got a bloody chance. Which is terrible. Um, yeah, it's pretty bad. And as you can see, diplomatically, we're not on good terms with them. Hey, United Kingdom. That's so good to see. How's the garrisoning going? Man, this is, this is fucking crazy. This is absolutely fucking nuts. It's bonkers. Yeah, we've not got a very good supply route through here. Whoops, that's not supply. Yeah, we've not got a great supply route through here. But who really cares? We're going. We're attacking, and we're attacking with great gusto. Um, is that where we want to go, or do we want to... How the fuck did I end up in control over here? I don't understand how I ended up in control over there. Yeah, so I'm just thinking, like, do we want to do this, or do we want to... Do we want to do something else? Because what we could do, right, is we could get these troops here could get these troops, all the troops over here, right? Whole bunch of them. Whole bunch of the boys. And these ones. Yeah, whatever. Uh, we could get these all, rather than going up through the Mongol Empire, we could get them to go to a harbor or somewhere over here. Do we not have any harbors over here? Let me guess. That one's... Cons oh, fuck it. Well, there's no harbors over here. Fuck me. I guess we're not going to be able to do the, inna the naval invasion with this army. But rest assured, it's still going to bloody well happen. Um, it's still going to happen. Return expeditionaries. I'm not interested. I mean, Sweden. Uh, return expeditionaries. I'm sure we can. I'm sure we can manage to scramble together a couple more troops. Uh, for example, like over here in Yugoslavia, nothing. You know, it's completely unnecessary to have twenty troops over here. We'll get together a big army. Uh, we could very well use the, the home guard if we wanted to, and we can just take the fight to the Japanese um, over in mainland China. Or probably, what is more likely, uh, I'm thinking I'm thinking mainland Japan. I'm thinking that that's the appropriate target here. But we'll have to wait and see. Ladies and gents, thank you very, very much for watching Up the Empire. My name, of course, has been Obita Potato, and I'll see you next time. Bye.